Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio video. Today, we're going to go over what I consider to be some of the most important uh, build and production ratios in Factorio. It, uh, it seems like quite a few people don't know these, and, uh, you know, especially newer players, and, and they can be really helpful to know to improve your factory efficiency and uh, just make everything run better. So, let's get into it here. The first one is... Uh, kind of the building block for the others uh, because it's a power ratio and you obviously need power to have everything else in your factory work. So the ratio we're going to go over here is um, how many pumps you need to boilers to steam engines. And uh, the, the ratio is one pump to 14 boilers to 10 steam engines. Alright, so why is this ratio? Well, essentially... Uh, this is what's going to have this run the most efficiently. So, uh, 14 boilers is essentially what's needed to uh, heat the water to the uh, temperature it's needed and uh, and then get it to the steam engines. And then 10 steam engines is enough to not like suck too much water or cool the water down too much, uh, etc. Now you can actually you can do this with 13 boilers. Um, it's like 98 or 99 percent efficient. Um, 14 makes it 100 percent efficient. I just prefer 100 percent, so that's why I'm showing this one. Um, just a really quick note here before we move on to the next thing is this does not really multiply very well within the same unit. And what I mean by that is it doesn't really work to like do two pumps and 28 boilers and 20 steam engines. Um, or even a, a higher uh, multiplication than that. Uh, it, it just kind of messes things up. Pipes only have a certain throughput, uh, so on and so forth. So it's best to just kind of make uh, multiple units of the 11410. Um, you can stack these differently if you want, as long as they're connected. You could do like five next to each other and just connect it with a pipe rather than 10 straight up. Um, I know some people are working on other ratios that do work. Uh, I've seen a couple, but this is the most prominent one still, so that's why I'm showing it. So there's that one. Uh, the next one is science. And uh, science is more of a personal opinion preference, uh, because you can make however many science packs you want, right? You could just do one. It'd just be really slow. You could do ten times this uh, if you want extreme science and can support it. Um, but what myself and a lot of people like to go for is one science pack a second. And uh, a very important note here, guys, is that's a uh, base rate. And what I mean by base rate is essentially um, considering it as a crafting speed of one. Okay, so why I mention that is because like these assemblers only craft at 0.5 or these craft at 0.75. Um, if we did it based on the actual assembler crafting machine for the science packs, uh, it would get a little wonky, and I mean, for these it's simple, right? You would just double this and double these, uh, because it's a 0.5 speed. If you want one a second, you would need to double these. Um, this one would get a little weird, but... So, just to let you know, I am going off base rate, uh, considering they all make it a speed of one a second, essentially. So, uh, these take five seconds to make, and we want one a second, so we need five assemblers, right? Again, base rate. Um, these guys take 6 seconds to make, so we want 6 assemblers, and then these guys take 12 seconds to make, and we want 12 assemblers for 1 a second. Alright, and the reason that these are blues and these are not is just because we need the blue assemblers to actually craft something with 4 or more ingredients, um, or even two, uh, 3 or more ingredients. And then this one, the purple packs, they're a little funny uh, because you get 10 per recipe, but it takes 12 seconds. Um, so at a base rate of 1, that's actually like 0.8 or 0.83 I calculated out per second. Um, so to compensate for that, we have a level 3 assembler because it crafts at 1.25. And uh, that kind of makes up for that difference. So so yeah, that's a, that's a science. I mean, again, if you want to make double this, just double it. Or, you know, whatever, half of it. If you uh, can only support half with your factory, then just cut it in half, these would be a little weird. Um, I'd go on the high end, just to be safe, but, uh, but yeah, so there you go. There's that, and uh, we'll move on to oil here. So this is one that you may have, uh, may have seen, like, mentioned and not really known what it meant. Uh, 
So I'm going to go a little more in depth with this one. And, uh, and yeah, so you may see people say like in terms of oil ratios or oil setups, like five, seven, one ratio. And what that refers to is your oil cracking. Um, so if you're still on like basic oil, that ratio means nothing. Um, don't, you know, don't bother with it because this refers to cracking and you can't even crack um, until you unlock advanced oil processing through research. Um, but what this refers to is five refineries to one heavy to light oil cracker to seven light to petroleum crackers, okay? And uh, what this, using this ratio, what that will allow you to do is essentially use up all the light and heavy oil that's being made without any waste or being too excessive uh, because it works out perfectly. So let's just get into the math here really quick. Um, again, I want to explain like why these are. So sorry if this video is a little long. Um, I, I just want to explain why these are rather than just telling you what they are and having you trust me or whatever. Um, I want to explain exactly why. So we look here, we'll start with heavy oil, right? This makes one heavy oil and it takes five seconds. Um, these have a crafting speed of one. Um, and there's five of these, right? So we get one a second because we get one every five seconds and there's five. So five divided by five is one. All right, so we have one heavy oil a second being made. Now, uh, something important I'm doing differently here is I am not going off of base rate for this, okay? I am taking into account the crafting speed of these things. And the reason for that is because they have different crafting speeds. Um, the main reason for doing base rate for like science or like I'll show with these others is because um, the product is all using the same level assemblers and uh, and they're all crafting at the same speed. So that's why that works. Uh, okay, so this guy takes four heavy oil, right, to do one cracking process. And you may be looking and being like, well, it takes five seconds, um, but really... A lot of people don't know or uh, forget that the chemical plant actually has a crafting speed of 1.25, which is the same as the level 3 assembler, and that um, increases, obviously, the speed at which it does this recipe at. And uh, so at that speed, it actually uh, completes this recipe in 4 seconds instead of 5. All right, so it takes 4 heavy oil, does it in 4 seconds, so essentially it needs 1 a second and that's how much we're making. So this ratio is perfect, right? We're making one a second, we need one a second. Now for light oil, we'll go back to these guys. Um, this gives 4.5 light oil every five seconds, okay? So that's a little less than one oil a second, or one light oil a second, rather. If it were five light oil, um, that would be exactly one a second. Uh, it's actually 0.9 a second is what it is, right? So we multiply 0.9 times 5, which is 4.5, okay? So um, with all of these working, we're getting 4.5 light oil a second. All right, now we need to add in this. How much we're getting from this, okay? So remember we had 4.5 being made from these. This guy gives three light oil every four seconds, again, because this is a faster crafting speed. So every four seconds, this gives three light oil, which comes out to 0.75 light oil per second, all right? 4.5 plus 0.75 is 5.25. So between these guys and this one, we get 5.25 or five and a quarter oil, uh, light oil every second. Okay, so for these, we look, and again, it's gonna take four seconds, the recipe, because they're chemical plants again. Um, this requires three light oil every four seconds, okay? And that comes out to essentially 0.75 or three quarters of a light oil every second. So if we multiply 0.75 times seven, we get 5.25, all right? So that's why this works um, because we're making exactly 5.25 light oil a second. We need exactly 5.25 a second. Um, we're making exactly heavy oil a second, and we need exactly heavy oil a second. All right, so that's why that is. That's the ratio here. Uh, now, obviously, if you throw in modules, it's going to change that up. Um, if you have a bigger thing, um, I would suggest just doubling this because, like, if you add just one more, um, it's going to kind of mess up these ratios. Uh, so there you go. There's the oil. Next one is circuits. Uh, it's really pretty simple. Uh, 
I'll start with, with just the ratio here. The ratio you want is three copper cable assemblers to two uh, circuit assemblers. And the reason for this is so that they don't stop, uh, they don't like stop up right or, uh, or get stuck because they have too much material and they don't get stuck because they don't have enough material. So again, it's just quick math. If we look here, this guy needs three copper cable every half second. Okay, if we look at this recipe, this creates two copper cable every half second. So a one to one ratio isn't enough, right? Because we'd be one copper cable short. So the circuit machine would stop every once in a while uh, due to a shortage here. Now, if we multiply this by two, this one, we essentially need six copper cable every half second. If we have two assemblers, but uh, with both of it combined, we need six copper cable every half second. Uh, now this, obviously two times three, which is what we have here, comes out to six copper cable every half second. So this works out perfectly. Now, doing it in this arrangement uh, is good because you can max out the inserters here just to make sure you get max throughput. Uh, and this is just kind of an example of what it might look like. You can multiply this down uh, or do a mirror on the other side. I'm not a huge fan of actually this part on this side uh, because it can get a little limited, especially if you upgrade these machines um, by the output because the uh, inserter can only, this uh, longhand inserter can only output uh, at a certain speed. Uh, there's many different ways to set this up to fix that issue, but that's not what this video is about. So. You can see though that this guy is never having a shortage of materials uh, in either either category here. So that's that one. Last here is the red circuits. And this one is like even more straightforward and stuff, but I have seen people uh, I have seen people way overdo it and, and actually, you know, a while quite a while ago when I first started, I way overdid this ratio. Uh, essentially these take copper cable, right? You only need one copper cable machine to supply eight of these. Uh, again, base rate, considering they're all the same level assembler, you only need one for eight of these guys, all right? And uh, again, it's just quick math here. Again, base rate that uh, these take eight, eight seconds. They need four copper cable every eight seconds, all right? Um, so kind of the easiest way I like to look at it is we just consider that every second this creates four copper cable right because it does two every half second so every second it makes four all right well that's how much this needs but it only needs it every eight seconds and this is making those four every one second okay so obviously in the time it takes this to craft this has made essentially eight recipes worth of the copper cable okay so that's how you get your one to eight and uh and there you go i mean there's many many other ratios in the game i mean pretty much for everything uh, a perfect crafting ratio for the materials required um, but these are some of the the more important ones i would consider uh you know that especially you know like the power and the oil and stuff science again is kind of up to you but i do prefer the one per second it seems to work pretty well uh, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, uh, requests for any video similar to this, do let me know down in the comments. And, uh, and I believe that'll do it for now, guys. So there you go. There are the, uh, what I consider probably five of the most important ratios. Again, there's more, there's module ratios. There's, I mean, really for everything, um, smelting, which I may just do a whole video on, but, uh, but yeah, there you go. As always, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and that this was helpful. Uh, again, leave any feedback you have down in the comments. I will check it out. And until next time, guys, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.